Rocking with PettyBlog.com. It's your boy, Snoop D-O-Double-G, and you are now watching the Petty Blog. I can't be on the Petty Blog. <laughs> petty and T. Oh, Petty. So they already know that I'm dropping the T. So let's get right into it, child. I don't even know where to begin, but let me start by saying this, Meek. If you ever run into this video, please, for the love of Christ, delete your Twitter page, bro. Like now. Matter of fact, delete it yesterday because, baby, what are you doing? His Twitter fingers then made him expose himself after the following allegations not once, not twice, but three times and probably counting. So delete it while you're ahead or let somebody else manage it. But let's get into these allegations. As many of you may have heard, Meek Mill's name, or likeness rather, was named in Diddy's court documents. In a 73-page actual complaint, it says that Diddy was screwing an unnamed rapper, an unnamed male rapper. Mr. Combs engages intercourse with rapper 5 that's redacted. And then it goes to describe this said unknown rapper as a Philadelphia rapper who dated Nicki Minaj. Ooh! So there you have it. It's none other than Meek, cause well, he's the only rapper from Philly who dated Nicki. Philadelphia rapper who dated Nicki Minaj. And also looks like he had something strange going on with Diddy when you look closer. Cause like, first of all, why would two grown men be out wearing matching outfits like a couple? Huh? Oh. And then why is Diddy calling Meek Mill daddy? And why is Meek letting him? You deserve it, daddy. You putting in that work. Proud of you. I love you. Like what's really going on? So those alone may prove a lot, but let's take a deeper look. And before we get into Meek's responses, basically denying these allegations the best way that he could, which is through his Twitter fingers, let's take a look at what those same Twitter fingers did, which seemingly proved that he's a fruitcake for real. And these are not made up, they're not photoshopped, there are multiple screen recordings of all of the following, including the ones that I took and verified for myself, okay? So they are not fake. But imagine thinking that it was fake, trying to give Meek the benefit of the doubt, but he's really on Twitter digging himself in a bigger hole, which is why he needs to just delete his Twitter forever, okay? So someone posted the video of daddy calling him Diddy, excuse me, <laughs> of Diddy calling him daddy. You deserve it, daddy. And wrote Meek Mill cooling them cakes after all night of Bender crying laughing. And would you guess who liked it? Meek. As y'all can see, he hit that like button on it and it's actually been in his likes for hours at the time of this video. That's what I'm saying. Delete your Twitter, Meek. Just delete it, okay? And now let's take a look at the next thing that's more damaging and there's no coming back from. Amidst these allegations, he followed gay adult content, got caught from all angles, screenshots, screen recordings, all that. So he quickly unfollowed, but it was too late. He keeps on denying it, even with these receipts against him that so many done saw live before he unfollowed. That is crazy. Now, even if he followed the page by mistake, right? Baby, he's so Twitter fingery that he's trying to make sure that he's getting his promo for his new music while he's trending for the wrong thing, that he's retweeting folks who are on his side and talking about his music, that he doesn't even realize that some of them are trolling him. I'm talking trolling, okay? So this person tweeted that Meek is back with the trackless screenshot of his music, and Meek was so quick to retweet it that he didn't even realize that they added the gay adult content to the screenshots as one of his songs, which he not only retweeted once, but twice. Meek, delete your Twitter. Now, I gotta be honest, seeing that Meek retweeted that and liked that, it makes you think that, dang, maybe he did follow that gay page by mistake and that he uses his Twitter finger so much that he don't even know what he'd be doing. And it just so happened to happen amidst the allegations of him sleeping with Diddy, allegedly. You deserve it, daddy. You gotta know that he was shocked to know that there are legal allegations that he has been letting Diddy hit. Chef. Daddy. He was like, who, me? Send me the court documents. Where's the receipts? So as much as I was believing that maybe the bull is gay, I'm starting to feel like he's just a lost puppy that's been moving wrong on Twitter and he needs management to take over his page immediately. I don't know, but now let's take a look at some of his responses to these allegations. He wrote, the two things they say, we snitching or we gay. We generating hundreds of millions from music is not a coincidence we all gay and snitches. They are powering this stuff even if it's fake. The goal is to disrupt the hip-hop community. He also said, y'all see these rappers with gay styles, they want that look. I leave that to them. I come from that gangster-ish surviving the jungle. Boy, what are you talking about? It looks more like you got the step. Never mind. Um, I'm independent. They know I dropped tomorrow trying to damage control. Where I'm from, people die for playing with the man's name. Um, they got to damage control. They know I dropped tomorrow, blah, blah, blah. BA ninjas ain't gonna play no games with me. They're trying to damage control. The same thing. They almost trick y'all with little baby. Now why you got a name drop? Then he going in on academics. Academics and alcoholic. Fully powered by the white man. Who you think posting that on every website? They be so mad they can't stop. It's few groups. LOL. What are you talking about? 
Um, he wants his Addy. Is saying that you and Diddy were fornicating. What the fuck? Me? He said, I'm from Philly. I don't do coke or freaky ass Molly. Nobody won't even offer me coke because I'm that heavy. No man or what would ever approach me about no gay activity. And the whole place don't get flipped. Woke up seeing this on every blog like they know I'm coming. LOL. That's why I always come around all these industry ninjas with my real friends. You never catch me around anybody from the industry alone. You can't even hold a conversation without my dog stepping in the room. It's been that way. I can't till y'all find out I'm the illest in this ish. And somebody sent me the actual lawsuit. These blogs making y'all stupid day by day. Don't follow the heathens. I was having a nice sleep, chilling in a mansion. I wake up to this weirdo stuff. They dropping hate campaigns. Let's find a real lawsuit to make sure it's more computer generated. Daddy. It's obvious I'm doing indecent. Y'all gonna see a lot of bad press about me. I think he meant it's obvious I'm going independent. Y'all gonna see a lot of bad press about me. He's swearing that it's fake. You know what I'm saying? Because I guess he ain't see the lawsuit at that point of him tweeting. He ain't know it was real. What else? The F these internet ninjas be on. I would trash any celebrity if they tried wild move on me. No pics. Literally go crazy on them. That is all. I'm from Philly Ninja. All my ninjas always watch me around this wild ass industry. I mean, but when Diddy called you daddy, you ain't do nothing. You deserve it, daddy. Never mind. Let's continue. They don't want y'all streaming this independent music. Make sure you support. This that real ish, not that clout. Heathenism ish. He wrote. <laughs> YouTube creators target black celebrities with AI made fake news. We have too much intelligence. We have too much influence. Boy, listen, the lawsuit you thought it was fake and it's real. That's that. People not making it up. They're going off of a real lawsuit. Now, maybe the person who made the lawsuit is lying, but the news about it is not a lie. But I digress. Let's keep going. <laughs> Every black blog site enhanced that post to make me seem gay. I change laws for our people. I donate millions. They are designed to destroy the image of black leaders. It can't work with me. You gotta really ill me and I still will get bigger after. Listen boy, it's not even that deep. I understand why he's mad though, cause it's killing his image, but it's like, you got some explaining to do. Make what you've been doing make sense. You deserve it daddy. Anyways, as y'all can see, he's copping please. And this is a good one right here. He said, when I got a girl around me, I'm effing her twice a day, LOL. Ask some of y'all favorites. Punani don't control me, but it's like a high. One love to the gay people, but that juicy punani do it for me. I done ran red lights to get that feeling. Y'all weird on here like devils. LOL. Oh, wow. And it's crazy because under it, people are saying things like, oh, it's like a this person saying, I got a black friend though. So people saying that you G-A-Y, you like, but I be in punani though, whatever. Y'all get the point. It's, it's crazy. I see that he's saying that it's all a ploy because he went independent. So they coming for him because he's going against the grain of the music industry. And he would never do no G-A-Y stuff. He would never follow a G-A-Y page that his name is being played with. And I can't find this tweet, but I know I had screenshot it. He was saying something about um, anything that goes against the grain of God is an abomination, right? And somebody told him to explain why he followed the gay page. And he said, let me go look what he said. He said, y'all know I would never follow a gay page, right? I think that's what he said. Okay, he said, I would never follow a gay page. If y'all real people and letting these computer control y'all minds, y'all are done done. Oh, wow. He really believes that people don't think that that was real when they actually seen it. Now, like I said, I think it was a mistake though, but he really followed that page though. Oh, bars. But anyways, um, he wrote, I have the right to say I ain't gay and I'll trash anybody that play with my manhood. LOL. Please believe me. Please believe me. What are y'all thinking? You want to know so leave your thoughts below like and share this video subscribe to this channel be sure to hit the notification bell and if you haven't done so yet be sure to become a channel member petsyblog.com signing out